This is going to be your guide to getting items in PAL world. This video is going to focus on the items that PALs drop and where to find them. That way you can upgrade your base, get better items, and then progress throughout the game. If you enjoyed the video or if it helps out in any way, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. The first item I'm going to talk about is the flame organ. You need it to make heat resistant clothing and furnaces, so it's very important to get your production going, which is why I'm out here in this really interesting spot on the map. So you have low level fire pals here and you don't need heat resistance to hang out around lava and engage with the fire pals. So some of these are higher level like this level 19 Arsox, but I think there's like some level 9s and 11s running around. Yeah, look at that. Level 9 Fox Sparks, level 9 Ruby. So if you can make your way out here, you can farm them fairly easily and get tons of flame organs. The only issue is its location on the map because you're going to have to travel quite a bit from the starting area, but you don't even need to come out here if you want to farm flame organs for the early game because we can just look at where Fox Sparks is. All right, it's out in the starting areas. So farming Fox Sparks is going to be crucial to starting your game. Also kind of interesting because Ruby is here and Fox Sparks is here for the different kinds of starting areas. But it also means like when you're starting playing out, just catch and kill all the Fox Sparks that you see, or at least the ones you can chase down, build a bow, snipe them out, all that fun stuff. And then you're not going to feel bad. One of the grinds I had early on was like, oh man, I need to go back and find some Fox Sparks so I can actually build stuff. That's why I started out with the Fire Organ because it's really good. Next, we have PAL Fluids, which is effectively the organ for Water-type PALs, and you're also going to need a lot of it. Fortunately, you just find a lot of Water-type PALs in the starter areas as you begin your adventure. Just go towards water, and you'll probably find some PALs that also drop Water Fluids. A very good spot for farming PAL Fluid is going to be by this boss, Azure Robe, because we have some shallow waters around here that just has tons of PALs all around. So you KO them, and then you get your PAL Fluid. And that kind of shows how this guide is going to work. There's going to be a really good farming spot that's out of the way, but also if you just need the base resource, then you can either check your pal deck for pals that you've already caught. Like, oh wait, how did I get that horn? Where did it come from? And you can double check loot drops that way, or if you really need a mass production of items, then this video is going to show you some pretty good farming locations. And there's also a lot of starter pals that you just can't miss, but they're worth farming. You're going to need cloth to build armor. Also, the cloth production gets pretty crazy later on. So again, catching and killing a lot of lamb balls means you're going to get a stockpile of wool that you can use later. We also have berry seeds. So to upgrade your pal box or to upgrade your base, you're going to need a berry plantation, which means at some point you need to KO a life monk or catch one, that way you can get the berry seeds and you can build up those items. Some pals, they don't have anything that's necessary. Tansy, Mushroom, not needed. But Pangolet, here's a pal you need to take out immediately because it has ice organs. So yeah, depending on your starter area, it can be found in the water or can just be found naturally along the way as you explore through the world. So the ice areas, that's more late game, in game stuff. Not a lot of ice pals early on. So that's why you need to go and KO these guys so you can get the ice organs and then you unlock the cold clothing. Tundra Outfit, this is going to protect you against freezing temperatures, so nighttime. Now level 9, you're going to have to like go through a couple of nights with a Fox Sparks to keep you warm, or just have a torch handy, or just sleep through the night or something. But yeah, this is this is when you can like start building really effective clothing for all the climate you're facing, and Pengolit is going to be like the first way of getting the ice organs in mass. After that, it starts getting higher level late game stuff, so just kind of like go to cold places, or defeat ice pals you naturally encounter and you're not going to need an insane amount so it's 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 necessary but you don't need to hard farm the ice organs same thing for electric organs you're going to need them but you probably won't have enough when you need them because electric pals they're not rare they're just not something you're out there like farming a crazy amount of Joel dog that's going to be deeper from the starting areas spark it is going to be like your main one you do have to move a bit more inland and then you have to actually encounter them and battle them to farm them out so try to get a stockpile of electric organs but you don't need some kind of crazy amount and then you can find more and more electric pals as you progress through the game this desert area is going to have a good amount if you need more, Univolt can be found over here, and it's not that high of a level because there's some starting areas over here as well. Bones. You're going to need bones, which is why it's good that we have a starter-ish area pal with Rush Ore. You can take those out if you want to get bones. Also, Vixie drop bones, and they're found, again, kind of in the same area. 
So it's not too hard to get bones, but you should target these pals early on. That way you can have a nice little bit of a stockpile. And it's not something you're going to need to farm crazy. As you expand out, you're just going to naturally accumulate them. Same thing goes for leather. Like, oh, you kill a couple Vixie or you catch a couple Vixie, you get leather and bones. Melpaca, really good for wool and leather. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem to get for those items. Now, Venom Glands are a drop you might not find a lot of early on because only certain dark type pals drop them. And some of them don't even have a known habitat or can only be found at night. So yeah, Daydream, nighttime only, but then isn't active during the day. So depending on your exploration and stuff, Kilimari can only be found in the caves that spawn around in like the grassland and non-snowy mountain areas. Now fortunately, there's one right by the Syndicate base, so we can find all kinds of pals inside of here. Let's see, Fuddler can be found here, so that's going to be some items. Also, consider catching Kilimari because its level 2 transport is going to be really good for moving items around your base and getting that production going early on. Also, if you need coal, you can find it in these dungeons and deeper into the map. And if you really need like a large amount of coal, that's when you're going to have transition over into the desert. It's going to be around level 20. You're going to need an insane amount of refined ingots. It's crucial to technology development. Also, there we go, 15 flame organs. You should already have those. Cement, that's what the bones are for. So you can build the improved furnace, make refined ingots, upgrade everything, and you're going to need coal for that. So if you see coal, just like as you're exploring, pick it up because you don't want to like go back to that area or you don't want to forget since it's not super common unless you go to designated coal areas like the desert. And dungeon exploration is going to be good in general. You're going to find different kinds of pals. You catch, kill them, you get all kinds of items, and then there's a nice little reward at the end. Hookrates is a very interesting pal because you don't want to just click on everything in the technology tree as you level up. You will run out of technology points. So if a level is kind of far off or like you really need to have something built now, you can go and find a Hookrates and it has a chance of dropping the high grade technical manual. And it's only found at night, but it's found kind of everywhere. Mazarina, the only source of milk unless you want to overpay to a merchant, and it has a pretty limited habitat, so this is going to be true of a lot of pals as we get deeper into the game as well. So Mazarina is good for that, you can also put it on a ranch, and then that's going to go just into understanding the pals and getting other items. Produces milk when assigned to a ranch, boom, has its own farming. Floppy is also going to be necessary to your pal adventure. So this area has a lot of pals that drop wheat seeds and to upgrade your base at some point, you will need a wheat plantation. So you just go out here and that's how you get the wheat seeds if you already haven't accumulated them at some point, but you really need to upgrade your base. The merchant in the desert town has wheat and tomato seeds. You can also find them from some other pals like Mossanda. And again, that's where it's like, ah, yes. You get a little deeper in and then you find like some of the other pals that have these kinds of drops. Also, if you want to know the drops for a specific pal, I did a video where I went through the entire pal deck. So you just kind of like look over and see what they drop. I'm not doing it for this video because kind of be redundant. Wooly Pop, though, is a fairly early source of high quality pal oil. And again, you're going to need that for the technology because you will need to make polymers. Polymers are going to be used to create circuit boards. And when you get into the super duper late game, you're going to need a crazy amount of circuit boards for all the cool saddles. Circuit boards and polymers are needed for an electric furnace, which is going to unlock the ability to craft the highest tier metal in the game. And yeah, the factory stuff also gets pretty crazy with that. All right, let's see what we got over here. So this area with the Woolapop is going to have pals that are like level 10 to 16. So getting into the teens for levels. And there's a level 10 Mazarina, just so you have an idea of what you're up against here. And then Broncherry will get into the higher levels being a more difficult pal to face depending on where you're at in the game. But hey, tomato seeds. And since you're going to need so much high quality pal oil, Relaxorus is a good one for that. Also drops Ruby, so you can make a little bit of money on the side, and that can be found in this area. So good farming location. And then an even better pal for farming high quality pal oil is going to be the Mamorist, but that's going to be a stronger, harder pal to farm on mass. So when you like start getting guns and really powerful pals, that's when you can farm Mamorist and then do a lot of really big technology upgrades. I had decent luck finding Mamorist around No Man's Trail, but that's also like higher, deeper into the game, and it might just be more common in some of the other areas that it's found. That's where I went when I wanted to get my Jet Dragon saddle. Lee's Punk is unique because it drops the keys to unlock certain chests, but it's actually a more in-game pal. 
some stronger late game pals start dropping some crazy stuff we have ingots we have certain pals dropping refined ingots and even pal metal so depending on like where you're at for the farming jet dragon that's going to be polymers and pure quartz and diamonds Necromus and Palladius is going to give you the large pal souls and pal metal. Sibilix, huge pal for farming because it drops high quality cloth. Again, you're going to need a crazy amount of that into the late game. So just go on a rampage in the top ice area. But that's that's like in-game late farming. Lovander drops cake, which is needed for breeding, and it can be found in the deserts at nighttime. And also kind of like skips mazarina so like mazarina you need milk and eggs for cake or you just go and find some love anders and farm those for cake and i think that's going to be everything for getting the items you need in pal world i guess the only other one could be the ancient civilization parts but you acquire those naturally as you defeat boss pals you know the encounters that are found in the overworld or like you go into a dungeon so yeah defeat this get some ancient civilization parts go into a dungeon clear that out get those parts and then you can use that for the upgrades over here egg incubator significant repairing some things that require it some other upgrades and stuff like that and i guess the last last one are going to be beautiful flowers so beautiful flowers can be found from the bunny where bunny drops the beautiful flowers and the restricted island areas have them naturally spawn so that should be it hope you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching